Welcome to the Be There Virtual Tour app tutorial. Um, it's powered by ServiceMate. And what we're going to cover off is uh, the basic setup of the app, um, how to receive a job or what we call a work order, uh, booking in the job, how to start a job, uh, the checklist that we may include in each of the jobs, uh, and how to mark the job as complete. So the first thing we need you to do once you've downloaded the app is jump into your settings and just scroll down to the Service Mate app option because we need to make sure that we've got everything set up so you can get your push notifications, etc. So first thing we need to do is turn on the uh, location services. Uh, make sure that your camera is also selected because we will ask you to probably take some photos and that will upload directly into the app. Um, next thing is your notifications, making sure that all of your uh, notifications and sound alerts are already on. Obviously the background app refresh, which just means it will update any information coming and pushed through. Uh, and then also your auto check-in for jobs because that will allow you to auto check-in when you uh, arrive at your location. So. Once we're out of there, um, you'll get a notification when a job comes through. Urgent job allocated. So if you click on the notification, the app will open up or you can load the uh, from directly from the app itself. Now, uh, you'll see that there's a work order there. The W is for work order. That means that we've allocated a job, but it hasn't been booked in yet. Now, if you have a look in your calendar, there was nothing in there. You can also view the work order from the map. So the first thing we need to do is contact the customer. So you'll have the contact details of the client. Uh, you just go into bookings. Once you've contacted them and they've given you a time and a date, you just uh, allocate the job to yourself. Um, put in obviously your time, the date, uh, when you're going to complete the job. And this will automatically send a notification through to us uh, and update our system as well to say that the job has actually booked, been booked in. Okay. Uh, and then what you'll see is the calendar will also update. So it'll drop this into your calendar and give you the job. So you can view it uh, either directly from the calendar or you can also go through your list option. So the next step is to start the job. So if you go into your list, click on the job, you'll open up the job card. And at the top there, you've got a big green button that says start job. If you tap that, it will start a counter. Now we want to navigate to the location. So click on the address at the top, it'll bring up this drop down box and you can simply navigate to the job. It will open up Google Maps and give you the, uh, the address and the location. In the top left hand corner you've got the service mate button, tap that and it will open back up uh, back into the job card. We also have a, a series of checklists, so the first one is take a photo of the front of the property. If you tap that, it will actually open up the camera, uh, you simply take a photo of what's been requested uh, and hit done and, and save and it will automatically check that, uh, check that box for you. And do the same for the rest of uh, anything that's on the checklist there. Then simply hit the checkout button, the red one at the top. It will take you to the checkout screen. Uh, we want to do job completed. Fill in the outcome form. If there's any information that's relevant to the job, you can put that in there. Uh, and then we click finish. And what that will do is, it'll, again, it will update our system, but also put your status to complete for that job. And when we go back to your list here, you can see there now, instead of being a W, it's got a C for complete.